few days ago I was reading something and I came across a particular phrase that caught my attention and I didn't know why at the time, just that this was interesting and what I've learned to do over the years is when this happens and I don't know why, to just make a note of it and then wait for the Holy Spirit to show me what it is that he wants me to learn or to understand from that sentence. So that's what I did this time and the sentence was what does God do with those who squander his mercy? He pours out more mercy. He is rich in mercy. And then a couple of days after that, I was looking at the story that we know as the prodigal son, the story about the father who was there, continuing to love his son, waiting for his son, for the homecoming. Beautiful story, um, one that I've heard so many times, I've had so many sermons on it, so many talks, I have looked at it upside down, inside out, thoroughly know this story and probably I was surprised that yet again there were more riches to be found in this beautiful story. But the Holy Spirit just touched on something and probably connected with the phrase that he'd highlighted. So I looked again at this story and I thought about the Father, the Father who loves unconditionally, the Father who never gives up hope, the Father who is there waiting to restore, waiting to lavish mercy upon his Son. And I thought about the sons and the different ways that they were treating their inheritance. They were taking all that their father had worked for, the inheritance that was the result of his work, and one of them took it for himself and squandered it, wasted it. And the other, it seems, the older son, was out in the fields working for it. It wasn't something he was enjoying, and neither son was wanting to understand the father. It was a real sadness to understand that there was the father, more than anything else, wanting relationship with his sons. And one of them took it and ran off, and the other was there, but not with his father, actually out there working for something that was going to be his anyway. And then the Holy Spirit pointed to me, as he does, um, and I thought about all that the Father has lavished on me. I thought about the things that he has given to me as a child of God. His love, his peace, assurance of salvation, authority with Christ, so many gifts from the Holy Spirit, and what have I done with it? Over the years, what have I done with it? Have I squandered it? Have I wasted it? Have I kept it for myself? Have I shared it with anyone? Have I worked alongside the Father so that I can understand how to steward it well, how to invest it, to even know from him what he wants me to do with it? And I thought about the phrase about how God is merciful to those who squander his mercy. And I thanked God for this beautiful, merciful Father. And I thank God that he is a Father who loves unconditionally and is there waiting for his children to come home. And I thought about this Father who wants more than anything to be in relationship with his children. And the inheritance is there it's a gift, but he wants relationship. He wants to have that connection, that heart connection with each one of us. And I would like to say, when I thought about this question, that out of the inheritance and the relationship with the Father, that I would always choose relationship rather than inheritance but it took me by surprise. It was one of those foundational 
uh, questions again that has been asked of me during this period. What is it I am really living for? Is it all that God has given me, which is so good, is so abundant, or is it God himself? <laughs>